And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last meme tier Monday donation deck We got some ephemeral so we're going to be much more aggressive than our last two decks They were both just kind of sitting back and trying to um, Accomplish a certain goal. This one's going to be attacking. We're going to be trying to curve out um, Get a lot of attacking in not really blocking too much But hopefully putting a bunch of pressure on them. So we not only have our from ephemerals like shark chariots um, but we're also going to have elusives like green glade duo and of course silent shadows here is both um, our champions are pretty good they're going to be aggressive with Callista and zed coming in on turn three and later on in the game we got hecarim at the top end some black spear and death mark for some interaction and that's kind of what our deck's all about some things that i'm worried about just kind of looking at the deck list beforehand uh, we only have 24 units, which isn't very many. Six of them are champions, so only 18 units. And so we're playing Stalking Shadow, 18 followers for Stalking Shadows. I feel like that could definitely be low. We may miss on Stalking Shadows a couple of times. Uh, Wraith Caller, the Allegiance with 10 Ionia cards. That seems like kind of difficult for Wraith Caller too, so may miss on that. So those are just a couple of things. Um, that we'll have to watch for. Hopefully they don't bite us though and uh, things work out. So, okay, let's go play five games. We're just playing in normal. It's meme tier Monday today. And let's try these ephemerals. Twisted Fizz, it's a good deck. Underrated deck for sure, Twisted Fizz. All right, gonna mulligan those two cards. Don't really need like that Mark of the Isles plus two plus two. But let's get some Bark Beast. Look at you. I'm the last thing you'll see. Okay, so Green Glade Duo. Sure. Um, probably just gonna trade with the Prowling Cutthroat. We'll see. We'll see what we want to do here. Okay, coral creatures. I'm just gonna pass. So if they're playing coral creatures, that probably means they're playing mind meld. That's the only reason to play this card is is mind meld. Do not fear the shrouded path. You won't feel it at first. Hold up! Where are you going? The reason to block is to grow the Bark Beast. It's probably not the best reason. So it means it's probably not the best thing to do then. Yeah, so we're gonna have Zed challenge the whale. I'm expecting them to to block here. Hold it, sweetheart. No gills, no entry. Keep running, Kay. <laughs> Possible it could have been better to just play so the glimpse beyond instead of killing the coral creatures, but we'll get we'll get that coral creatures out of there. Give them one less blocker for Zed moving forward. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be casting Glimpse Beyond now, so we'll just sacrifice this 1 1 Bark Beast. See what else we got going on. Hecarim time. Hecarim and Zed. Being all cool. Let's see. Could play Oblivious Islander also. Yeah, for just for free if we want to make Hecarim ephemeral. And then that would allow us to do these Mark of the Isles on the Hecarim. But no, we'll just play it normally. Okay. 
Seize control. All right. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have attacked the Bark Beast because I would have just had a new regular attacker anyway. Let's see, I guess the Bark Beast didn't need to attack. So I'm, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to glimpse beyond one of these things. I'm gonna hold on to glimpse beyond, but it's possible I should glimpse beyond one of those things. And I am scared of these large elusives. But I mean, I, I like the you know I like the damage getting in here. You know, they're down to eight. I like that. So I'll just let that happen and save the glimpse beyond. That's a good card. Well, speaking of good cards, Slippery Wave Rider. Oh, hello there. We see through all. Ah, oh, an auspicious season. So I can mark of the Isles, my Green Glade duo, and then Death Market, and uh, give that to the Slippery Wave Rider. Blessed by snow and stars. So they're going to draw a card. Going to draw a card. This will be a good winter. But I guess I guess so, you know now obviously they're drawing two cards, but we can. I can just kill both of their things. not trade there right now so they don't get to draw a card well I wish I didn't play the Soul Shepherd if I would have known they would have only challenged one I would have played the Soul Shepherd and I could have done that and then and then death marked and that would have been perfect <sighs> yeah that would have been perfect Okay, Black Spear is good. And kill a Wave Rider. <clears throat> Alright, this Oblivious Highlander was like the perfect card to try to kill them this turn. Alright, that's fine. I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, they should still be dead this turn. All right, so we're gonna have the ephemeral one make the other one ephemeral. We're gonna make them both ephemeral. I know I could have, but like basically the reason to do that is to make them three twos because the Soul Shepherd. So that should be game. Oblivious Islander with Stalking Shadows is pretty sweet. <laughs> like that's pretty sweet. You can't do this. All right, that's nine damage. All right, Ephem Ephemeral's off to a good, <laughs> a good start. Thanks, Cordex. Yeah, that was kind of like that was what I was looking for. I was looking for, um, I was looking for exactly that. Whenever I cast the, 
you know, because I, I, uh, yeah, I knew I wanted to play the Black Spear, which is three, and then, you know, I had six total mana, so I was looking for that one mana card, and Islander was perfect. GG's. Alright, we'll see if we can go fast enough for, for this kind of deck. Um, this kind of mid-range deck usually can do a good job of uh, stabilizing, but we'll see. Maybe some elusives can get us in there. I like this hand. I like this hand quite a bit. This hand just got better with the Zed. So Island, you know, Islander, of course, works great with Stalking Shadows because we get the ephemeral copy anyway. Never again. No. Vaulted dragon fire. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Right Kill my Bark Beast. This Dragon Guard Lieutenant card is awesome. It messed us up earlier the last time we played against dragons. I don't remember I am the exactly which the deck we were playing. I think we were playing the Star Spring Swain, I think. I'm something of an aspiring Trakotas. Keep up. Things are different in the field. Don't let them through! Cool. That means no um the two mana. Oh, well, they have that two mana card. Single combat. That's not as bad as having the uh, sharp sight. So you can just sharp sight the egghead researcher and block said. Cool, we hit. Videos. Sure is dark, eh? More green glade duos, bees. Full speed ahead. I also like that. Stalking Shadows is a green glade duo. That's pretty sweet. They just drew sharp sight. these challengers all these sharp sights and challengers I don't like this sharp sights and challengers and fight spells right, so Shivana's leveled up witness my true power Okay, let's see what we get with the Stalking Shadows. Yeah. School Shepherd, that's interesting. Everything's better with company. Says you. I went to attack with Hecarim, but... It's like I attack with Hecarim, the 7-7 seven, seven blocks it, and then I have two 3-3s. Three, Pretty easy just to block with these things. No, it's not worth it. Honestly, I probably shouldn't... I probably should not have played that other Green Glade duo, honestly. Right there. I probably should have waited for that Green Glade duo until this turn. Deathmark's interesting. 
Yeah, or maybe even both Greenway duos. Like, maybe I should have just waited an entire turn for them. My steel is yours. I probably should have. It's too eager. Especially with playing the Stalking Shadows and everything, I wish I would have just not played the Green Glade Duos and waited till turn 9 for my next attack turn and then, and then led with Green Glade Duo, Green Glade Duo, and then other stuff. How do we win now? Um, another Stalking Shadows and a Green Glade Duo? Question mark. It's probably another Shivana. Yeah, I should have attacked with Ekarim. Or, or honestly, I, should, I really need to just wait. Need to be more patient. But like my Ephemeral Green Glade Duo, you know, I only dealt... Both those Green Glade Duos total, they only attack for 7, and that's just not enough. I need to attack for more than that with those. Galista. Okay, so we'll play Shark Chariot and attack with the Shark Chariot to have the Bark Beast be a 3 3. They're gonna have Draven next turn. Another Hecarim. Draven, I love you. Me too, kiddo. Me too. There can be no justice. Only. Okay, let's see what we get. Wraith Caller. That'll do. Awesome. Hit again. I stand for Noxers. I gotta work with this junk. Never mind, GG's. Got axes, need victims. Yeah, I'm out of play. This will level up Callista, then whenever Callista attacks, we put in a Wraith Caller. Now we're cooking. Then I can also Black Spear and kill this crowd favorite, because I guess it's scarier than... <clears throat> scarier than the Draven. But they are unloading their hands like they have Jinx. Oh, that doesn't. Un oh, never mind. Yeah, because we had the bark beast. Yeah, never mind. That's not. Me, you got the wrong lady, lady. So don't know how to deal with the crowd favorite. Time for the money makers. <laughs> we 
Can we draw a Blighted Caretaker? No Blighted Caretaker in our deck. Okay. Um. I guess we can't actually use that card, can we? Not today. I always forget about the shark. Hey, attack with one less thing. Oh yes, please, please. Please let me kill crowd favorite. Love this trade. I'll love that trade too. You must get by these or that one. First. One of us dies. Take any of these. Just let me kill crowd favorite. Take that. Okay, we have a chance now with our crowd favorite dead. All right, an open attack put us down to two. Let's boogie. Good draw. GG's. So close. If I don't attack with the 1-1, one, one, they just block with the 3-1. the same thing. Okay, unfortunately we gotta play this matchup again. This one felt really rough. We played last time. Yeah, I mean we were yeah, we're not playing we're not playing the best decks today. You know, that going in. I mean it's meme tier donation decks, these aren't like they're the reason why we're playing them on Monday. They're not the best decks. That's okay. So I'm planning on having Like I hope they don't have anything that can kill the Zed right now, but I'm planning on having Zed plus Um Dead plus Mark of the Isles to make it a 5-4, and then Death Market after that. So basically, do I want to do I want to pass and try to play around Sharp Sight, or just play into Sharp Sight and attack? They follow the wrong I'm going to play into Sharp Sight and attack. Not the egg. Okay, no Sharp Sight. That's good. So I think we have to be very aggressive in order to have success. You must have some unique insight into dragons. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. Break them! Punish restraint. Still not playing around sharp sight? On my mark. Cool, no sharp sight and no single combat. Good, good. Seize control. Shadows cut deep as I don't know. Let's see playing the Soul Shepherd first. Oh, I just drew single combat. Oh, we were doing good for a little bit. Awesome death mark. 
That Screeching Dragon, as we know, is a big pain. Send Brown. Lots of soul shepherds. Does death follow me or peace? Lieutenant, no. have you brought a specimen from the field? We let you keep the egg. Be content with that. Come, the journey ahead is long. Prepare for battle! Boo. Challengers. Oh, ho, ho, GG's. We're going to overflow that with some really, really big e ephemeral elusives. I think we're going to get that one, right? Yeah, I agree. We've had some awesome games. Because, like, even though even though we only won one game with the Star Spring Swain and the Black Market Mill decks, both of those wins were amazing. They were They were really, really cool games. And so, um, like, if you're watching this later on YouTube, I definitely recommend just checking out those two videos for just those those games that we won. Green Glade Duo is just easy to kill. I mean, so is Bark Beast. So the lesson, I guess our lesson is to not be scared of things that are easy to kill. To do, you know, thermogenic beam or something. One half glimpse beyond available. Callista's not as easy to kill. If they do kill Callista, of course we'll just sacrifice it to glimpse beyond, and then we have a 3 3 Bark Beast. What they got? Mystic Sean. So planning that plus static shock. It's Draven time. Well, maybe not static shock. Got lucky we haven't missed with a Wraith Caller yet. Okay, so the Callista took out two Mystic Shots from their hand. Cool. So like this game, I'm going to be waiting till like these Green Glade duos like in the real late game to try to set up like a, a lethal attack and then can, um, I'll learn my lesson there with the Green Glade duos. Good rummage. All right, I'm gonna attack before they play other things that are good at blocking. Okay. Take that, get a little spider out of here. So we have the attack token on the odd turns, which is good. So our next attack turn is turn seven, and that is enough to be able to play Green Glade Duo, Green Glade Duo, Silent Shadow Seer, Silent Shadow Seer. So that's exciting. So that could be our next attack turn. Let's boogie. It 
Let's see what else we got. Hmm. Yeah, the, the probability is that they'd have rem removal for both Green Glade duos, but I could have a pretty awesome turn next turn if they don't, if they aren't. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Maybe you should have cast Stalking Shadows first and see if they would use a removal spell. Okay. If they just need to spend some mana. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hang on, sir. Really, protege? Sounds pretty good. Okay, so how do I want to do this? I think I want to. So I can I can go oblivious islander, oblivious islander, silent shadow seer, silent shadow seer. Right, I can still play all four of these cards with the three mana because of the the reduction in cost. Um, alternatively, we could go with some soul shepherds. I go like one Soul Shepherd and an Islander and a Shadow Seer. Maybe we do that. Let's go. Um, let's go this Soul Shepherd. Stop. Okay, so next turn we can have like the ephemeral, like like basically all these things be, being ephemeral, and death mark them. Cool, another green glade duo for next turn. I guess that's probably gonna kill me. Does death follow me or peace? You call this a fight? Aha. Watch and learn. So that puts me to six. And spinning axe put me down to five. I guess maybe I have to do this. This would put me down to seven, and then spinning axe makes it six. But I'd rather, you know, I'd obviously rather keep the soul shepherd alive, but. I think I can really open attack. Okay. I'm glad they didn't use the spinning axe. That could help me out a little bit. Yeah, that could help me out a little bit. Everything's better with company. Says you. Okay, okay. Not bad. I have unfinished business. So they can play one decimate. Just five damage. Okay, that's a good yeah, that's a good sign. Oh, hello there. So they won't have they can't decimate and then and play uh you know something that kills me. I could get excited. It would have been really nice to keep that 3-4 alive, um, but I, I didn't risk it, but, you know, all these things having two health would have certainly been nice. Okay. Here we are, moment of truth. I have one pump spell to help save. All right, how about that? Ephemerals 3 and 2. Get those elusives in there. GG's. 
All right, I'm really happy with how I played that one. I feel like I played that last game uh, really well. So I I liked um, I really liked Stalking Shadows in this deck. I was afraid that we wouldn't have enough hits, but we never missed. We never missed with Stalking Shadows. We only missed one time with Wraith Caller that very last game, but we were hitting with that also. Um, but Stalking Shadows with some of these cards, like with the Oblivious Islander, we got to do that that uh, really cool play earlier. But it just works really well with Oblivious Islander. And then also with, you know, Silent Shadows here, Green Glade Duo, getting extra copies of these elusives is awesome. Extra copies of Soul Shepherd and Ephemeral Soul Shepherd, also pretty awesome. So yeah, I really liked uh, Stalking Shadows with all of that stuff. Um, yeah, so I thought, I thought that was pretty good. The... I wasn't very impressed with the Shark Chariot. <laughs> we never really needed to use Shark Chariot or anything. Like, so I wasn't really that impressed with that card. Bark Beast is okay. You know, it's just a, a one drop here, but it was okay. But um, yeah, there's definitely some times where it's kind of awkward. Glimpse Beyond, of course, was awesome. We never drew Fading Memories, never did anything with Fading Memories. And I'm kind of glad didn't really, didn't uh, seem like, it seems like maybe Fading Memories, we could get some extra units in here because we do want to, um, we do want to make sure that our Stalking Shadow hits, right? Like, we'd never want to miss with that card. So I could see playing, instead of those, I could see playing another Oblivious Islander and, and another Silent Shadows here. I was very happy with both of those cards. I think I'd probably just play those over um, that zero mana card, Fading Memories. Uh, let's see. But yeah, that's, that's kind of about it here. So there we go. There's some Ephemerals. With a winning record this time. That's always good to have. All right. Finish it up with a winning record. That's good. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. I would always appreciate those. Uh, but that's it here for the ephemerals. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.